step into the A. And so for every action, there's a reaction. So you have to be cognizant of how you're moving and what you're doing, because what are the effects of that? What are the repercussions? And repercussions also in, include karma. So. Damn, that's yeah. real. Yeah. All right, let's transition a little bit. <clears throat> Everybody loves our recaps. Let's get into it. P Valley. Uh, Down are, in the dirty where the girls get naked. Yeah, episode seven and eight. We got two you left, can, right? Two more left. We went two more left. A lot of people yeah. been liking our review. A lot of people been liking our review. A lot of comments about uh, the last episode on the YouTube. Uh, you may need to address uh, on the. Uh, I ain't addressing shit. I'm an Aquarius. What the fuck I'm gonna do that for? The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> See, I say shit. Here's the difference. I say shit and I stand on what I say. Right, that's if real. I, it, and I'm not retracting. I'm definitely not apologizing <laughs> because I'm not going to mean it. You know what I mean? So I feel like this. <laughs> I don't even know what I feel like. I feel like I'm running on fumes. I'm not going to lie, friend. But I will say this. I've thoroughly enjoyed the last two episodes of P Valley. I know it is getting mixed reviews. Some people feel like this season has been lackluster. Um, I feel like there were a couple of filler episodes, but I, I think the conversations of surrounding the last two are very important. Uh, mm -hmm. We just were talking about mental health. Um, and I don't know, yo, this is what's crazy is that why well, I want to call that light skin dude tea cake. You remember from where I saw <laughs> Tea cake. No, tea. Oh, uh, yes. That's what it is. Thank God. Oh, what if it's, what if he had played on tea cake? Look, if he did that, it would have been way too obvious he was gay at the beginning. <laughs> and it's my boy, tea cake. Like, oh. Listen, I, I'm just saying. Where you coming from, jail? Your name is tea cake? from did TK come from jail and there as a watching guy? I can't Hold remember. On. Maybe. Hold on. Uh, okay. So anyway, I'll, while you research it. Okay. Because not only do we have this case where, which I mean, kind of happens a man, lot. Man, it is. That's Michael Ely's character. I thought it was yeah. TK. It is TK. Yeah, it is TK. Like, you thought I was making that up? That's from my there as a watching no, guy. No, I thought it was TK. I thought it was No, it's TK. I remember, yeah. I read the I had to read the book, so I remember. Um but so okay, there's a lot of common themes happening in the in this series that I think that as in our community is still very taboo. We don't we all we only think of gay as femmes, not trades or um, you know, masculine. Um we have the childhood abuse that comes up, you know, quite often different levels of abuse, uh, mental health, suicide. Now we have teen pregnancy and abortion, uh, the, that, that right to choose type situation that's happening that I think in, as in our community that we don't talk about enough. And I, I like that it is being explored, whether it makes people, what's happening is that people are uncomfortable mm -hmm. and that is honestly that's what katori hall and them they're probably trying to do if you are uncomfortable then it could, is there you might need to confront your homophobia yo what else that we got domestic abuse you probably need to look in the mirror and check yourself when it comes to a lot of different things because we turn our we do turn turn the cheek don't yeah. say nothing a lot and there's a lot of people in our community that needs to heal. But they don't have anybody to really talk to about it. So I like that we are seeing different. I, on my timeline, it was so many women from this past Sunday's episode saying how they hit home for them. Mm. I have, I have, I know somebody that just, just had a miscarriage 
and they found out as they found out more information about what was happening and they didn't have like the typical miscarriage the baby like stopped developing and they had to bring it out like yeah so, so no this is an ill thing i found out about uh shout out to uh uh chloe and ria who are uh professional psychiatrists i had drinks with them yesterday and they told me that back in the day or like rich people would say that it was like a uh i forgot what it's called something miscarriage that to disguise they had an abortion mm -hmm. it's like a something some, something miscarriage where basically if you do have a miscarriage like you're talking about they have to go in and basically suck out the rest of the baby because of the whole uh the miscarriage didn't take all the baby out of you if you left this leave some of that dead body parts in you you can get yeah, sick yeah. in a general yeah. situation but they said that women were going in and get written up as that but they're really having an abortion yep i was like oh so that's why this is why the whole roe v wade thing yeah but it, 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 it's kind of like a whole I, different like people people think that it's, it's really women out there that are just using abortions as a form of birth control and it's really not and it's never really you know like you the know, amount of teenage teenage people, same republican dudes that's down they have their daughter get this of course is it embryonic um abortion it's some term where it's like basically like that term where it's like oh you had an abortion but it's because you had a miscarriage mm -hmm. and my and, and and the person that i know that just experienced that you know she was happy that it happened the way that it did because she was saying that she wouldn't know if she had to you know she doesn't know if she could could have made that decision to say okay this is what i'm gonna have to do to like save my life or do i have this kid like you know and it's, it's just and i told her i said you know you can't say that because you never know until you will be in that situation but you already having kids you would have chose yourself because you have kids like her you know her other two children they're like you know one is going to high school and one of them is like nine or ten so i'm like trust me you would have chose yourself and that's yeah. not selfish that's just the reality of the situation but you never know what you've been to it but back to p valley yeah mess i love it um i i, I, I didn't know that Yo, little murder i mean this is gonna be uh my um uh my homophobic moment for this episode i didn't know that little murder was could be a bottom yeah okay so i don't think that is i know some people may not even know well, he, okay so then I learned it's, it's, it's like legos you gotta like have them click together correctly so he's probably verse yes. yeah but i thought that i, I wouldn't want to i found say, it to but me but you see how like big legos. Do you see how big Clifford is? Yeah, but I'm just saying, I've heard it's like Legos. Like, like I can be, I can't date you if we're both tops. It doesn't matter if I like you. We just ain't connecting. Yeah, that happens. Some people, and then some people. Or if we're know, two like, bottoms, we can't be together because we both two bottoms. Yeah. Uh, well, it depends. Some people, some people are burst. Some people will take one for the team. And, and see, that's why you like, here. You you here to educate us. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, like myself. Go uh, go ahead with this. And um, and I get what you're saying. So what you would call murder, murder would be trade. And so trade. Or, or or let me ask you this question before you even go farther. Or was it? Or did he only do that because he really loves Clifford? Um. You'd be surprised a lot of people be bottoming. I know, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying, and, did he do that maybe because that's not, he like, is a No, I don't know. Like, it could be, but I just. You didn't get that vibe. I didn't get that vibe. Okay, I just feel okay. Like he, Continue with your explanation. I was, that was a question I had. Like, maybe he's no, 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 showing no, how much that I love you. And that very well could be the answer. Um, but trades be bottoming too. Um, because it's like, you know, I'm just like y'all didn't prep for this. You didn't prep for it. Like, did you you ate all that that soul food earlier today? There could be an accident waiting to happen. But yeah, I'm not, I mean, I'm, I'm, too, okay, too, okay. Too, okay. I'm, 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 too I'm, much. Now I thought Uncle Clifford was only a bottom. That was another. No, confused. I never got bottom vibes from um, really Uncle Clifford. Never. No. See, this is the kind of stuff I don't know. I'm just like okay. Yeah, because you're seeing the like him like in what 
makeup and drag, right? Mm-hmm. But there's still very masculine parts to him. I agree. And I, I mean, he's still a full on goatee. Yeah, he got the the, the beard, the goatee. Um, yeah, he wore, but it's just something still about him that's just like that. Give me, I'm like, yeah, he ain't, he ain't like, look how big he is. And when I say big, I don't mean like, but he tall. He's a big, he's like, a big he, guy. He's and, a big and, guy. But that's still like, though he's, he's a good six three, six four. Yeah, and though he's thin, there's something about him that still gives me like like how he commands the room. It's like very masculine to me. So I'm not surprised that homeboy bottom for him. Um, but that maybe that's not his thing, though, in general, but he really is like... I mean, he, how he was acting, he didn't, t- like, you know, whereas Teak kind of, like, tensed up a little bit, shit, Myrtle was like, slide that shit up in. I want to feel you. I want to... And because Clifford got that condom, he said, no, I want to feel you. And I don't think my mind went to, oh, he finna put a condom on murder. He finna put, like, my mind didn't go there. You uh, you immediately thought it was going to be. Totally. I don't get, I, I'm telling you, like, but when you, I'm not, like, that's just what I picked up on. For, that's for me. Like, I, that's how I felt. Like, he was definitely a, he was going to bottom for him. Damn. Now, interestingly enough, let's see if this come up next season because I feel like they ain't gonna bring it up this season because it's too much happening. If there's like a scare, that was the deal. That was what I was gonna ask you. I was like, do you think it's gonna be like because he messed with Teak? Teak was in jail doing whatever. Does he got the package? You know, I don't know. I don't, I don't want them to do that though. I don't want I don't them want to them do because that. that'd be too cliche. It would be. It would be so. I don't like automatically oh, gay guys maybe, automatically get AIDS. Like, okay. Yeah, all the and, every person, going on. and every gay person don't have AIDS. Just like right, but I'm saying all these other sex yeah. going on the show, but the two gay guys get, get Yeah. AIDS. And, and, and while we're here, just like monkey pox ain't a gay like yeah. the, I'm like, why are y'all trying to make that out to be an STI? That's the weirdest fucking thing. Um, but I believe that maybe what they were saying was you know, when Clifford was asking, like, you clean, like, are you good? Have you, you know, pretty much and seeing way, have you been tested? And he was like, he was good. Um, and that was just like another way. Cause you know how people feel about condoms. It's not like the full experience. Mm-hmm. So I guess that was supposed to be another way for them to connect. And be uh, closer, be closer. You know, like spiritually. But they didn't, they, they didn't have condoms before when they had sex the other times? Did he, did he put on condoms? They didn't really have sex. Like, yes, they did. No. Oh, in the car, they made out. No, he got up in him in that, uh, in the office. Remember? Against the jukebox. No, that was one. he. Yes, um, he got up in him. No, I because, think. Yes, because remember, homeboy saw them through the window. His manager, that's how his manager found out. They was making out. No, he was getting up in them, and his manager All saw. Right. Him. All right, cool. Yeah, that's why I thought he was a top. That's why I was like, he was a top. This multiple times he's been a top. He verse. He was verse today. Yeah, I see. So, all right, let, let's stay stay on Pete Valley, but let's go into um, y- y'all. I'm tired of this storyline with uh, and she fine though, but um, what's her name? Uh, Mercedes. No, no, no. Mercedes fine too. But I'm talking about uh uh the chick that bought the club. What's her name? Oh, Autumn Night. Yeah, but you know she's British, right? Yeah, she go to Greg. <laughs> I met you her. She what? She go, we got we got the same hairstylist. Man, what's crazy is she was on man, I you gotta tell her what's up if you see her because I'm like, yo, she was on um Top Boy. I knew I knew her from somewhere. Oh, uh, I didn't. I didn't finish Top Boy. I like started oh, it. But, he's good. Okay, but so you know, okay, when I, and what I mean by started it, I started the first episode and I fell asleep. I tried it's to watch. Good, it. man. I heard it was good. Top I Boy. Heard it was good. She's on Top Boy, and I'm like, I knew she looked familiar to me, man. British people taking all the black good act. They the best actors. They be mimicking out. Well, it, it's actors. it's just something about it's it's because you have to think like the theater like started there. 
So it's just but something. I mean, they like, mimic better than other people. Like crazy. Australians don't do it like that. French people don't do it like that. Spanish people. And I get that English is not that hard to translate. It's, but I'm talking about they be spot on better than even people from the area. That's Think that's about Andrew's elbow on the wire. You thought he was from Baltimore. You thought he was from where? Baltimore. I'm talking about on the wire. Idris Why Elbow. are you saying with the T? Don't nobody say it with the T? Baltimore. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I mean, that, that, but that is, that, that is what's supposed, like, it's supposed to be so believable and people always get offended. They're like, you know, there are black people that can act, you know, act too and yeah, whatever, yeah, which, they're is, good, which they're is great absolutely acting. true, which is true, but it's just like, I don't know. I'm with you. They be doing something different. Dude, Daniel Kalua, uh, Delray Lindo. I, like, okay, so I'm going to be honest. I just found out there were Linda. Really? Oh, you didn't know. I didn't know. And I was like, no, you got playing. And then I saw something. I was like, ain't Del no Lindo like feel like he a dude from Philly. You would think he's a dude from Philly that grew up in Philly. Like, I, I, I just, I was like, ain't no fucking way. Yeah. And it's a ton more. Like, the list goes on and on and on. But, it does. But, but back to her storyline. I don't like this storyline with the whole selling the club thing and I'm trying to get 10 million because it's unrealistic that you get 10 million for any piece of land, bullshit piece of land anywhere in the country for that. They'll just put him in domain up on your ass and be yeah. like, you go $500,000 because that's what it's worth. Yeah. Um, Cause you can't stop a casino coming to a town to make it vibrant for your one piece of property. If the, the yeah, city decides you, on it. I'm, it. It'll be interesting to see how it play out. Just like Clifford was like shocked that, but I get what she's saying. If if y'all willing to offer me a meal, then what is this property really worth? And it got to be worth something. You know, maybe a little, it might not be worth 10 mil, but for it to be pretty much out looking the river, all this stuff, like that's what they keep talking about. Like where, you know, yeah. it has to be, it has some sort of value to it. Now, yeah, it's, it's 10, million, 10 million, I don't know, but if she was a man and if she was a man trying to negotiate that, ain't nobody gonna I'll be, No, I'd still be like, man, please, child, please. She, that's you, but you don't know. Like I said, like, it, and it's so much like history that's, I, I get why, you know, Clifford don't want to sell. I, I get why. You know, like she was like, this could this could change both of our lives. So I see the I, I see what she's trying to do. Cause you start high and you know, like when then and then you know, like work your way down. So this she'll probably will she get ten? Nah, probably not. Get five. But probably get some probably get five. And so and then she give Clifford, you know, like a percentage of it and keep it moving. But they could always build another pink. No, that's the whole thing. I think they should. Like my whole idea is, is that it'd be dope if they can't sell it or some happens and another pink opens across the street like nappy cuts on barbershop. Yeah. Where it's like a new updated strip house. club opens up across the street. Kind of when the pink slip had a bottoms up open across the street. Yeah. Um some, something is <laughs> well, like y'all know what I mean. When when that when bottoms up open across the street for the pink slip, it was like, ooh, new shiny. Like Better strippers. Yeah. So you go get your chicken for a pink slip, though. Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah. I, I I can't. That's the one thing I want to. I'm like, I just want the chicken. Um, But I I agree. It's either that or something that, like you said, something is going to stall it. Interestingly enough, like we said, they we haven't seen the girl from St. Louis and the white chick in a minute. Yeah. Uh, what is her name? Roulette. Roulette. And the snow bunny. We haven't seen them in a couple of episodes. So it'll be interesting because we were, you know, keeping it right here that they, you know, had did a stripper party somewhere. Right. And it wasn't at the pink. It was, remember, it was somewhere, somewhere else. else. Somewhere else. It was, so it was the, moonlighting, as they call it. <laughs> yeah. So that's what, so something, something that will probably come back up in like the last episode, maybe. So it'll be interesting to see. Um, how Ooh, that what if they what if they have some dirty stuff like setting themselves up to open another club like on them? 
that could that like, could happen. Like being a thing, like we already doing a strip club in another like a private joint. We can open up a joint ourselves. I don't know. I think Clifford gonna find out what happened. Rule number eight hundred and fifty-two: no fucking dick in the paint. So but it wasn't in the paint. Then somebody be like, it wasn't in the paint. But now she was now roulette. I know she did that one time, but I'm talking about yeah. She, the other, like, other, I did other, it one time there. Yeah. So um, I was just like, so that that'll probably come back into play. But then um, I was also thinking about um, what else. I was thinking about like how fucked up Mercedes' moms is for real, for real. Yeah, we we got a lot of, of a backstory. This like episode, mom and I can appreciate that. That's what I was saying. Like her mama was hella fucked up, but that always happened, you know. Ever and I get it. Like every sinner, you know, every saint has a you know was a sinner. Has a past, and every sinner has a future. Yeah, whatever the fuck it is. Uh, <laughs> But this is different, though. Like, Yo, like she she's just, still a sinner. She's still a sinner. She is all about ill-gotten gain. Um, how she, you know, did Mercedes and um, I mean, she it, stole her money. I mean, stole she her stole her money. Yeah, stole her money. Oh, excuse me. Um, and her property. <laughs> it's just, you know, and it was, it was interesting because i felt like in that moment where they were in the hotel room and the the commercial comes on that she the daughter felt in that moment what probably mercedes had been feeling for a long time and that's why she was like you know you can't let it get to you you can't pay attention to it because it's just like it's just noise yeah and you know, and I felt like she was like, okay, so this person hasn't always treated you right. This person has manipulated you. This is done. But just like how she was like telling her, oh, um, go work your magic so the dude could pay for the meal. Yeah. But then you get mad that she got a condom in her purse. That made no sense. And I was like, well, what was her magic? Like, do what you mean? Like just flirt, or do you mean? And this keep in mind, she's a high school girl. She's trying to get her a flirt with a grown ass man, and she was mm -hmm. in high school, pimping her daughter out. Makes you feel like how uh, uh, people, uh, uh, some of these people did with R. Kelly and their kids. Yep. And, and and you know, as bad as R. Kelly, uh, you know, is a terrible human being. You know, um, a lot of these parents should be going to jail too. I agree. A lot of the, the parents should be going to jail. You know, it's one thing, oh, oh, you know, he promised my kid that he would, they would have this career. But like a lot of people, they know, they knew what this nigga was doing. So it ain't no excuse. And they should be in the jail as well. So for these last uh, two episodes, what are your predictions? Is, um, is Mississippi, is Keyshawn going to leave? Is she going to shoot? She gave homegirl, you know, Autumn gave her uh, Gun. A, a phone, a burner phone. Yeah. Um, which leads me to believe like they could be setting it up for that. But at this point, you kind of, you know, and, and it sucks because he kind of, homeboy comes for money, so it ain't like she really can go to the cops. Right, so no, this what? game like you you can't run away like regardless of them his family not messing with him they still gonna be wanting to know who murdered their son. Yeah, and I would um, so it would be that uh, um, maybe you know she would we know she tried to flee um, maybe it'll be one night she um, maybe call Autumn come get me this is you know like he ain't here come get me and my kids and they go you know hide out but like you said like i feel like something gonna happen she you know might end up back at the pink even if she hiding out hiding out the pink and then stripping on tuesdays and fridays she can't she wouldn't be able to strip though because then she'd be found right 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 but right. i mean Maybe. the hope would be is that like she would she would have to take Derek out unless and i mean technically she could go to another state 
but then it becomes tricky because she has social media presence and will be posting. So then it could technically be looked at as kidnapping. Um, so you have to, a, a lot of things that play into it. Um, um, homeboy that's running for mayor. I feel like because a lot of people are discounting him, like discounting him, I yeah. feel like he'll probably end up some kind of way, win. maybe getting elected, maybe not. Um, or uh, yo, Mercedes' mom gonna win mayor, yo, <laughs> and she's gonna hate right, on. You the know casino. what? You're right. You're right. She's gonna hate on the casino. She's the one that's gonna hate on the casino. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That that's gonna block it. Uh, cause something gonna happen. Something gonna happen. I don't know. Um, and then season three, she gonna get jammed up for something she did that was illegal with maybe with Mercedes on some like pushing her daughter to do some shit. Like it's gonna be the scandal they find out about in season three because Mercedes drops and then it opens up the money for everybody. That's how. That's yeah. Uh, and then like okay, so does Mercedes? So does Mercedes give uh, her daughter uh, Terica back to the the, the stepmom? No. I don't think so. Yeah. Because other mom is no, just or what what might happen? What might happen since homegirl an alcoholic drink herself to death? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And she'll yep. come into the custody. Uh but okay, so did the girl daddy die too? He died, yeah, he's dead. Okay, okay. That I just wasn't sure because they don't never mm -hmm. touch on it, but that's what would happen. And how did the stepmama become like that? Because I feel like if we just popped into the scene, like we knew that she was there, they had money. And then, yeah, they didn't, they didn't that, no, okay, so here we are. Then Mercedes will kind of probably come into some money because. Oh, daughter. because the, the money daughter. from her daughter has to transfer from the death of the father and mother has to transfer to the new guardian, which is her. And she gets the crib. She gets all that good stuff. Yep. Just an idea. So, yeah, let, let's go back to Mercedes, though, for a second. Her and her relationship with old girl, with uh, with the Mr. Biggs' uh, wife. Okay. That was in episode seven, right? Uh, Yes, where they hook up. And, and they was getting into it, having a little bit more fun with, without him. Yes. He was but hanging. you would think that he wouldn't trip. But the ego, the ego is a motherfucker, boy. The ego is a motherfucker. I'm like, boy, if you don't enjoy this, I'd have been like, shit. Let me give me a black. And like the fact that, like the wife, the the wife was saying that you can't renege. Like you gotta pay her. That was a contractual agreement. And then how she walked out, I feel like he was probably still gonna have to pay her because she could turn around and sue him. Yeah. But she I mean, messed so up her, but she gonna get that bread for that one month, but she ain't gonna get the bread continuously like she needs it, though. That's the problem. Yeah. She can't she say you can't fuck up my money. Yeah. So who knows what will even happen with that? Like, would that be something that comes back around? But I, I just was thinking about the situation um with the, the daughter and that and she just and Shell had been eating, just drink, 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 drink it. So I could see that uh, kind of happening. And then I need, I need my boy to come back. That was her uh, little dude before. Um, yeah, the uh, one my dude. My boy is on Brothers now. Yeah. Um, I don't know, man. He on house Thomas arrest. Jones. Thomas Jones. He on the house arrest. Right, but I'm saying, but she still was. They was. They had a good chemistry going on. Yeah. But, well, yeah, I mean, where they gonna go? To the living room. But he still had some little bread, though. He was breaking her off with bread, still on house arrest. Listen, he still was a viable uh, uh, mate. Um, True, but I believe that he... He, he got might, another TV show. He got on, he's on the brother, not brother. Yeah, brother, so they not. probably wrote that character out, or it might pop back up. You know, he might pop back up as somebody else. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I'll, I'll be interested to see. And then now we have... You know, Clifford, like you said, will probably come into, or no, that wasn't you. That's my homeboy. We was talking about it. Um, Clifford probably also come into some money because of, you know, the grandmother. 
Yeah, Loretta. Uh, so he might be able to buy her out. Out. But depending on what her policy was and what she Ooh, had. What if he buy her out? Then she she puts up nappy cuts across the street. I don't know. Like it make her the maybe maybe that, that could be, or she open something else to do something. Um, but then something will happen where, like, I know Mercedes want to quit, but something gonna happen because, like, she quit all the time. But I know she hasn't been back because of the situation with her arm. But something mm -hmm. will happen. Her and Mississippi will probably end up back at the pink. Yeah.